Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again with another episode of the Chelsea Career Mode here on Xbox One. And as you can see, we're starting today off in the Champions League. But before we get into the action, I've actually got a couple of things that uh, I want to talk to you guys about. So uh, do bear with me, we will eventually start commentating on the uh, on the gameplay in the background. But first things first, thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. I'm recording this on Saturday evening and I'm like 10 short. So I think it's safe to presume that between now and when you see this Monday afternoon that we will have hit 5,000 subs. So thank you an immensely large amount for such a huge huge milestone so early on in uh, in this channel's lifestyle lifestyle lifespan even we uh, were coming up to a year of almost been uh, on this Chesno gaming channel an entire year and to hit 5k just before that happens is absolutely superb so I cannot thank you guys enough for that I really am truly indebted to you I know I uh, I wasn't able to get a Q&A out for 4k but uh, I may do something for 5k I may not I'm not very good at these one-off special videos I'm kind of unsure as to whether to continue doing them etc but if you'd like to see something for 5k then I will try and put something together but it might be a little bit late but uh, yeah that's the main that's the first thing thank you very much for 5,000 subscribers you guys are epic. The second thing that I wanted to get some actual genuine feedback from you guys on is actually a little bit controversial, a little bit taboo, but uh, I'm just gonna basically I would like to get a coin sponsor as a growing channel and a channel that prides itself on putting the uh, the biggest and um, best quality of videos that I could possibly make out to you and having a, a series such as the World Cup squads series where you know I'm trying to put the biggest and best players into a team to uh, to highlight the uh, the quality of that particular national team and I can't do that right now I uh, I've already put 2 to 300 pounds worth of my own money into ultimate team since the start of next gen and I just cannot physically or financially afford to continue doing that for the foreseeable future and I would love to be able to bring you the biggest and best teams that I possibly can not only in that World Cup squad series but in anything else I do ultimate team based on this channel for the the Dutch squad that we uh, we did a couple of weeks ago I tried to put I wanted to put as many legends in there as I possibly could but I could only afford Frank de Boer but I would have loved to put Ruud Hullet or uh, Ruud van Nistelrooy or Frank Rijkaard or you know Edwin van der Sar or anyone like that into that team but I physically could not afford to do so and I feel like I'm letting you guys down by not having the biggest and best players in my Ultimate Team content, uh, but I physically can and financially cannot afford to put those players into the team, so I'd like to pick up a coin sponsor so that I can do that for you. So leave me some suggestions, or not suggestions, leave me some feedback in the comments whether you be pro or anti me getting a coin sponsor. It's not out of financial greed or anything of that sort, like I know there is some areas of YouTube that are like that, but it's genuinely on a, I want to make the best possible ultimate team content for you guys that I possibly can kind of that's where I'm coming from and for the future after the um, after the World Cup squad series I'd love to do like a really really expensive player review on the Sunday that we definitely have an ultimate team video like Sammy Leto just came out in form I'd love to bring you a review of that or an Eden Hazard in form or some team of the year in forms or something of that sort so let me know in the comment section down below. Obviously, if you don't want me to get a coin sponsor and the overwhelming response is no, then I won't. But I won't be able to bring you the uh, the best Ultimate Team content I possibly can because I just don't have the money. But uh, I'm basically going to leave that in your hands. I know some of you have already expressed uh, an opinion that, that you'd rather that I wouldn't. And a couple of you have said that you uh, you think it's a good idea, that it would be nice to have some, some bigger and better players and squads on this channel. But... I'm going to leave it in your hands, so uh, take that as you will, and uh, leave me some feedback in the comments section, please. But uh, we'll cut back to the action now, shall we? Let's get back to the career mode, and what technique on that shot from Edan Hazard. A perfect time to come back as we take the lead against huge, huge Premier League rivals Manchester City. Now, you'll remember in the transfer window, I said at the end of deadline day, Man City had put a £76 million bid in for Neymar, and it didn't go through. It hadn't popped up on the you know latest deals or biggest deals of the uh, of the entire window and uh, there was no sort of uh, confirmation anywhere else and it was only you know they only put the bid in with two to three hours left but apparently the deal did go through he is playing in this game so we're coming up against Neymar and of course earlier on in the season in pre-season Neymar actually scored a hat-trick against us for Barcelona if you cast your minds back so we definitely know what his threat is all about but fortunately we were able to stifle that for the majority of this game although he was involved in their uh, in their equaliser earlier on flicking the ball on before the uh, the striker actually put the ball into the back of the net but we were able to get, take a 
a 2-1 lead just before half time there through David Luiz and uh, Joe Hart came out to uh, to put in a great challenge at the feet of Quadro Samoa to keep us out from extending our lead at 2-1 to 3-1 but Sami Kadira plays the ball through to Neymar they've clearly been spending a lot of money up goes Jovetic and they're back on level terms just after the hour mark and of course Man City won the league last year and they absolutely raced away with it but the fact that we're being able to compete with them here uh, at the start of this season and in this game as well um, was very 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 pleasing considering the uh, the sort of gap that was left between us at the end of last season they were 15 points ahead of second place and 16 points ahead of us in third at the end of the season they just ran away with the title but so far this year we've been winning games back to back to back it's been absolutely superb the players that have come in like Lewis Muriel there scoring his uh, scoring his third or fourth goal of the season already has been absolutely superb they've Im improved our squad as a whole a humongous amount. I cannot even begin to tell you how much nicer this team is to play with than the uh, the one we started off the first season with. with. So um, I'm just could not be happier with how things are going right now but uh, we head into the last game of the episode and it's actually a full rotation plus youngster team we of course won the Capital One Cup last season as well as the Champions League but I'd like to focus on the Premier League the FA Cup and then retain the Champions League I'm not too fussed about the Capital One Cup so I just threw the kids in for this game against Aston Villa you know Lucas Piazzon, uh, Traore Callas, the uh, the right back, the Czech right back, and I threw Ryan Bertrand in there at left back as well, and Nathan Ake is playing at centre back. So it definitely wasn't a strong lineup from myself in uh, by any stretch, but uh, they actually put a decent performance in. They were going to take the lead early on though through uh, through Christian Benteke, a uh, fun fantastic first touch after the ball through from Silla, and then a great finish into the bottom corner to uh, to give them a one 0 lead after just 25 minutes. But we were going to go up the other end with our big lump of a Belgian and actually get ourselves back on level terms. Although I have to be honest. I'm not enjoying playing with Romelu Lukaku. We uh, we had Diego Costa at the club last year and moved him on, and I didn't get on very well with uh, with his style of play. He's kind of without being too uh, detrimental to to the player. He was just a lump, a finisher that was just a lump up top. He couldn't play the uh, the sort of intricate tick attacker style football that I like to play. The sort of football that Luis Muriel is absolutely excelling at. And Fernando Torres did very, very well with last year as well. Lukaku is kind of having the same sort of season so far that, uh, that Diego Costa did last year. So we'll have to wait and see how things go. We'll monitor the situation between now and January and or the end of the season. And maybe Lukaku might be finding his way out of the club. We're not too sure. I'm not making any sort of big decisions about that just yet. We're still like in early September or something. So there's nothing to be... Uh, nothing to be Two, no conclusions to be made just yet. We've, he's got a lot of time to uh, to prove me wrong. But we're going to come very, very close to getting ourselves back in front there. Willian with a lovely effort. They've actually got Okawa in goal, the Mexican goalkeeper, in uh, in for Brad Guzan, who I think they let go. But uh, Romelu Lukaku is going to get himself another chance here to try and give us the lead on the 74th minute. And he just flashes it wide of the post. But I... I, for whenever I, I miss a chance of that, I always find myself going. Fernando would have would have put that in, or Luis Muriel would have put that in. That probably isn't true, but I just I'm always so negative whenever I'm on the ball with Lukaku, and then they uh, just to prove the point of how Christian Beteke is uh, is a better player, a more effective player than Romelu Lukaku. He goes up the other end and scores their second of the game to put them 2-1 in front, and we're going to come very very close again to getting ourselves back on level terms this time, rather than in front. Michael Essien with a shot and Okwa making a fantastic diving save, but that's that's how the game is going to end. We're unfortunately going to get knocked out of the Capital One Cup at the first attempt. Although, to be completely honest, I'm not overly fussed about it. We uh, we can clearly con we clearly want to concentrate on the Premier League and uh, the Champions League. And the FA Cup is something I would like to win, having not won it last year. So there where I'm going to concentrate all of my attention from now on. And uh, maybe the youngsters will still get some sort of uh, some sort of football either out on loan or uh, are in some uh, some low key FA Cup ties or low key Premier League ties. We'll have to wait and see. But that's going to bring this one to a close guys so please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind of course please do feel uh, please do leave me some uh, some feedback in the comments with regards to the uh, the coin sponsor thank you again for 5,000 subscribers you guys are absolute heroes and if you missed the previous episode then there is a link as an annotation on screen over that little snippet of gameplay to take you there if you aren't subscribed already and would like to get us closer to uh, to 6,000 then feel free to hit that subscribe button there'll be a link in the description and an annotation on screen over the uh, the little subscribe button on the screen that you can see there on the end slate but that's going to bring this one to a close so thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time